Hi everyone, today we're gonna give you guys a little bit of an overview of what the layout is gonna be here inside the bus. We're really excited to get started in here. Um, so we're not gonna go into a lot of detail today, just sort of a the big picture of what the inside is going to look like when we're all done. So let's go ahead and get started in the back. All right, so back here is going to be the kids' room. We have four kids, and so we're gonna have two bunk beds um, on either side. And you can see we've just kind of blue taped everything off. Um, these aren't exact measurements, but this was sort of like our best guess of what we thought we would end up making. So um, we're gonna have two bunk beds on each side. Obviously the wheel wells are gonna be under the lower bunks. And then there will be some additional storage down underneath. Um, and then along the back wall, we're going to enclose this and there'll be some little storage back in there as well as we're probably gonna put um, a small air conditioning unit back in here. So uh, we love our mini split, um, but sometimes in the very back on really, really hot days, um, it just needs a little bit of extra help. And so we found a clearance little air conditioning window unit um, that we've got plans for and it's really efficient. And so we've got some plans for that in here. So stay tuned for that. Um, sort of this center area is gonna be just like an extra little bench seating. So it'll be a place where the kids can hang out back here, have their friends in. Um, it could also be an extra little study space if we have another they could bring in like a TV tray type thing, um, another little extra workspace in here. So we're excited to build the kids um, their own little special room back here and they're super excited about it. So the back is kid zone. All right, so coming through, there's gonna be a pocket door right here. So we've already kind of built out the framework for it. Um, we had to do that earlier on in the build. So we've got like the track and everything up. But there's gonna be a pocket door that slides in for the kids room. <clears throat> and then we're gonna have basically the center section of the bus is a big walk through, pass through bathroom. Um, so this side is gonna be a big wardrobe, floor to ceiling. Um, the top will probably be cupboard doors that open. So there'll be a small amount of hanging storage in there. I don't think we're gonna need very much hanging space. So there'll just be a little bit of hanging space, probably some shelves in here. And then we're also gonna have a charging station for all of our devices built into our closet. So that'll be great. And then on the bottom is gonna be all drawers that will pull out. So this will be all of our clothes storage and um, so that'll, it's actually a really big space. So I think we'll have plenty of room in here for clothes and linens and maybe even books and it's a really nice good space. And then on this side, <clears throat> we've got a shower, real simple, just shower, toilet, and a very small vanity. So we're still working on what all the details of like how, what we're gonna do with the walls in the shower and all of that. So not all of those details are worked out yet, but um, it's gonna be just enough for what we need. We think it's gonna be great. And then on the other side of the bathroom, again, is gonna be another pocket door. So both sides of the, of the bathroom can be closed off for privacy as well as at night, it'll provide some separation between the kids and the front of the bus, sort of like the main living area. So coming through, we are now standing in the kitchen. So on the left side, or the driver's side, we've got six feet of kitchen counter space. Uh, the sink will be in the middle. And under the right side of the kitchen is gonna be a combo washer dryer unit vented to the outside. And um, then we'll have cabinets or drawers over here and cabinets under the sink. We'll also have some upper cabinets up above for extra storage. And then on this side, we've got, um, actually this is kind of a, was a last minute design plan that we're really excited about. There's about a six inch space 
in here you can see, and that's actually gonna be a little broom closet. So one of the things as we've been talking to people, everybody always says is like, think about where are you gonna put your trash can? Where are you gonna put your dirty clothes? Where are you gonna put your broom and your mop? And those kind of things. Um, and I, you know, some people just kind of like throw their cleaning supplies in the bathroom, maybe on the wall behind the toilet or something like that. We did not have a lot of wall space in our bathroom as you saw. And we need to be able to hang towels and things like that in there. So um, our right next to this is gonna be our pantry, like a big floor to ceiling pantry. And we didn't really need it to be quite so wide. So we gave up a little bit of space in there to have a dedicated space for cleaning supplies and um, broom and mop and things like that. So here again is a pantry. In the middle of the pantry is going to be um, a convection oven. Um, we are not doing a propane oven. All of our appliances are uh, 120. Um, we've got plenty of solar, as you guys know, to handle all of our electric appliances. Um, we're not having a like a typical range. We're just gonna do an induction burner that's gonna be portable, which will be great because we can take it outside. Sorry, there's a gnat flying around. Um, we're also gonna have like our instant pot and then we'll have a convection oven over here. So we'll have plenty of pantry space up top, convection oven, and down on the bottom, um, as of right now, it is, what is this? This is end of March. We're planning on putting our cat's litter box under there. Now, she is almost 22 years old. In a month, she's going to turn 22. So she's doing okay right now, but she's slowing down. We're not sure if she's going to make it onto the bus with us. If she does, her litter box is going under there. We can vent it outside with some fans. And, you know, if she doesn't make it on the bus trip with us, um, then we'll have extra storage down there. We're hoping she makes it with us, but we'll see. Um, next to the pantry is our refrigerator. We've got a 10 cubic foot uh, refrigerator, and so that comes up to about here. And up above that, you can see like all these wires and stuff. All of that is gonna go into our tech cabinet um, here, and there may be additional space over here, another cabinet. So all of our um, monitors and our color control and all the like router and all of that kind of stuff is going to go in a cabinet up here above our refrigerator. Next to our refrigerator there's sort of you can sort of see another gap in between our tape lines. Um, that is going to be just like an extra little storage space. We're thinking we're going to have some stackable stools in there and a um, few other ideas that we have for that little space that we have. Next up, you'll see kind of matching rectangular taped off boxes. And what those represent is seats for our kids while we're driving. So we're planning on getting some Ford Transit van, like double seats that are, will be forward facing with built-in seat belts that we will install here with some leg room in front. And that'll be great for when we're driving, the kids can be forward facing. Our kids that are still in like um, car seats and booster seats can be in good solid seats. All of that will be bolted through the, you know, through the floor down into the frame of the bus and all of that. So um, that is seats, obviously when we're not driving, they can still use those, it's just extra seating. So that'll be great. And then kind of the main living room space, uh, we've got two couches flanking on either side that will have storage inside the couches. And the, the two couches will then, uh, we're still trying to figure out the exact design, but they will come together, they will open up and turn into a big queen size bed um, for us to share for the parents' bed. And during the day, those will the bed will be put away and we will have a table that can that we can put in between for eating or for schoolwork or for working 
Um, so it'll be kind of a multi-use space. The table can be put away or whatever. So that is the, kind of the main living area up here in the front. Um, we're gonna have some additional cabinets up here, up above for extra storage for like homeschool supplies and things like that. Games, we're a big game family. So lots of games, I'm sure. And then in the front dash area, we're still working on plans, but we'll definitely have some more storage up front and we're replacing the driver's chair and there's a passenger chair for me up front. And that's pretty much it. That's the basic overview. If you're wondering about uh, <laughs> the big wood wooden window here, that's just because we've got um, the, we took the frame out to take it to the glass shop to have the, the glass looked at about we're getting that replaced. So um, that'll eventually be a window again. Um, so I think that's about it. That's a big about a bit of a wrap up. Um, we're super excited to finish insulating. We've got a um, little additional insulation that we're going to be doing. We'll tell you guys about soon and starting to build the walls and the ceiling and put in lights and we've got lots of big plans in here. We're super excited about it. So we hope you guys join us and um, can just follow along with us. And we're really thankful for all of you guys that support us all the time. So thanks a lot. We'll see you guys soon.